Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. This is the 49th entry into the Changelings vlog series. A couple things tonight. It'll be a quick update, I think. I was reviewing the footage from the raw shoot that I did for Changelings, and I'm not quite sure how happy I am with some of the footage. The 20 millimeter that I was using with the Metabone Speed Booster looks a little too... Uh, low resolution. So there's a lot of shots that I did with those lenses, or sorry, with that lens or that combination of lenses uh, to produce some of the, the shots in the neighborhoods and some of the ultra wide shots up in the hills. But in the end, I, I'm just not really happy with the way the glass is looking. I, I think I need something a little bit more modern. The stuff that I shot with the Apogee lenses, which thankfully are going to go back into service really soon once they're back from England. Uh, for servicing. They look really nice and very uh, very sharp, very clean. The resolution is quite high because of the Helios lenses that are, that serve as the, the base for the lens. The Helios is a Zeiss Biotar copy from the 1950s, uh, sorry, from the 1940s, I believe. And uh, they're just very, very sharp lenses for the age. I mean, they're it's a very old design and uh, they're very sharp, very, very fast. It's a 58 millimeter lens, and Richard Gale has managed to turn them into a 38, a 28, and an 88 as well, using new optics, and they're just really clean. Um, I really, really like them. And so those shots turned out really nice, and so did the shots with the Canon lens, the, uh, I believe it was an 80 to 200, when we did shots of downtown. It looked really beautiful. So um, I'm, I'm happy with maybe half the footage that I captured over the last weekend. So it's going to mean another uh, probably a couple days of shooting some B-roll with that raw recorder, but I'm going to have to do a little bit more planning in order to um, really capture as much material as I need. I've got to start doing a little bit more pre-production uh, in advance for this sizzle. Um, I've, time is running out. I have been focusing on trying to get the overall short uh, completed and also writing the pitch packet for Changelings. And it's really sucked a lot of time away from getting the sizzle done, as has doing this vlog series. So I, that's one of the reasons why I pulled back from doing it every night. Just not feasible to do this every single night, plus work, plus try to get Changeling's sizzle completed. And so I really pulled back on that. And I think it's better. I think that it's a bit better of a balance. So I'm hoping that over the next couple of days, I'll be able to really focus in on getting the script done and then I can move on to the uh, finishing the shot list for the entire script and then um, rework the budget and the schedule and then I can move on with getting all the perks done as well. I mean, I still got to complete a lot of these perks uh, for the crowdfunding campaign and I'm thinking of reaching out to people on the Steam blockchain. I've been researching some artists on the Steam blockchain to reach out to for digital sculptures and other material, maybe like sound or music. And there are a lot of talented people on the Steam blockchain just presenting their work uh, for everybody. And I, I kind of want to try to source from there. I think that would be really cool to build part of the team for Changelings on the Steam blockchain and really uh, integrate myself further into that whole ecosystem. Because I really do think something like Steam is going to be the future where artists should choose a platform, build followers, just like on YouTube, but instead of advertiser dollars, you get direct contributions via uh, the Steam or whatever blockchain happens to be servicing the uh, social network. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to reach out to some artists this weekend. Hopefully we'll get some sculptors and some musicians on board. I've reached out to Neil. We're going to be doing some storyboarding uh, hopefully next week. And uh, so that will be a perk that will be listed for the crowdfunding campaign. We'll at least have the transformation scene really locked down, hopefully in the next uh, week or so, maybe in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'll be sharing some storyboards and some conceptual drawings. And um, other than that, the world is expanding. I'm doing some more writing on the, the uh, sort of outline of the world, and I'll share that sooner, hopefully, rather than later. I'm excited to get Changelings done, but I've got to reallocate more time to getting the sizzle completed now that I've Pulled back those a couple days from the sizzle, sorry, from the vlog. I now have to figure out some more time or where to put that time in order to get the sizzle done. So once I've got the, the shot list completed for the sizzle revised, I'll be able to start doing these photo boards and storyboards. So next week is going to be the time I'm getting all that done. Other than that, I'm doing casting tomorrow for Jeffrey, the short film that I'm co-producing with Connie Sue. You can find her on my State of Play series. 
And uh, so I'll be doing that tomorrow for a good portion of the day. But once that's completed, right on to photo boarding and storyboarding and shot listing for changelings. And hopefully I'll be able to share that with you by the end of the week next week. All right. Uh, have a good night and I will see you on Monday. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.